All right, so another video coming out showing just some of the latest features added to the Gazelle from their latest update on DCS, where you basically see me go out and just go on a hind hunt. I've made a video about this aircraft before, talking about how people just didn't like the aircraft on how it basically flew. It just wasn't natural. Supposedly, you can even fly the thing actually upside down. And I'd have to agree because I do remember I could basically just put on like 10 or 20% of collective and immediately my helicopter would shoot straight up like a bottle rocket. But thankfully, that isn't the case anymore. They've definitely improved on the flight model. Not only was this update about how the aircraft flew, but they've also improved the exterior and interior look. Probably one of the most notable things is actually the interior on the cockpit seat, where you now have the option to add a older version of the viewfinder. And it's kind of interesting to look at. It's basically binoculars, but with one lens. And it's definitely an older one. You can't switch this to an IR view and you don't even have a laser rangefinder. I'm sure a lot of people out there that like an older version of the Gazelle would appreciate it for those mission campaigns, depending on their timeline. One of the last things I want to mention about this update, which is probably the biggest one personally for me, would probably be the additional weapons to choose from. They've actually added new gun pods. These are the FN HMP 400s. Basically, they're a 50 cal on each pod, holding about 400 rounds. So not the most powerful thing added to the aircraft, but at least it's a nice addition and it's definitely a lot of fun to shoot around. Okay, so I've basically rambled on enough. Let's get into the video and as always, enjoy. Seeing a lot of aircraft in the general area. See something out there. Three targets, one's moving. Left to right, looks pretty slow, hard to say. That might actually be a target already. At the same time, what do I got over here? Is that... Is that a target? That might as well might be a target. Actually, I think I can, what I can actually do is I can actually switch to the co-pilot seat drop this sight down. I can, can try to control it to figure out what it is out there. Okay, I definitely see something out there. Uh, I want to say that's a Huey. Yeah, I definitely want to say that's a Huey. All right. Actually, I think we have a target off to my right here. All right, where'd he go? I had eyes on him. There he is. Way out there. I think that's a hip. Let's jump into our co-pilot seat, see if I can actually get a line of sight of him again. Oh yeah, that's definitely a hip right there. Definitely a hip. All right. Gonna definitely wanna take care of him because he's probably gonna be dropping some troops here in a minute. Oh, he's right below me. He's on fire. Got him that time. Gotta get away from him. I feel like he's gonna fall right on top of me. Nice. Splash one hit. Let's go. Alright. I was like, man. I, it sounded like he was getting closer to me or something. I was like, the sounds were different. And then I looked below me and there he is. Those might be two guys over there. This might be a one-way trip. Oh. 
Yep, that's a hip right there. I got two hips right in front of me here. Nice. Let's uh, switch over to this. Let's definitely get enough lead so we don't have to like chase them down. There might be a third one a little bit further back. Yeah, there's definitely something else further back. Maybe I should it. Maybe I should continue on with the hips. Because the hips are going to land. They're always going to land. This hind, I'm just I'm not going to be able to catch up to him at all. And we're definitely still in enemy territory. Alright, the hips are still there. Let's... Alright. I guess in a sense we're actually going to avoid him for now. See if we can get rid of these hips. Wow, one is climbing super high. Is he turning? Yeah, they're both turning. Oh, that was a mistake. Well, the... The hind there is continuing on. Alright, the hips it is. Alright. See if we can get this back guy, because he looks a little closer. this front guy. Oh, the front one despawned. What? Oh, no way. Don't be that. Ooh, I almost got him, actually. Oh, I'm so close to him. The only thing is, is he's smart enough to realize that he can outrun me. Oh, if I get the speed here, maybe... Definitely running. Oh, I might have scared him there. I mean, we're almost 139. All right, we're good. We're good. We're good. Yeah, keep turning. Close the distance. Another hip. Down for the count. Oh, that's awesome. There's the hind right there. Oh, do I still try to push to try to get him? You know, it's just the fact that I just need him to start attacking ground targets so he'll just like start circling around them so I can close the distance. If he doesn't do that, then it's just going to be... Which one, which sector, like which helipad is mine? He's flying away from them, of course. If he starts attacking ground units that are right there, I'll definitely go for him. Oh, he just strafed. He just strafed the living crap out of like my friendlies right here, so I might actually be able to close the distance if he circles around. There he is. Oh, he's right in front of me. Don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh, he doesn't see me. He doesn't see me. He's turning. I mean, maybe he's turning away. Come on, turn. 
Close the distance. Close the distance. Yeah, he's trying to fly away. Oh, he turned. Tail now. Oh, there he is. Trying to take out his tail or something. Oh. oh boy. Ooh. Nope. Just fall. No, he got me. He actually got me. Darn. <laughs> oh, no. If I only had more of the other ammo. Uh, good fight. <laughs>